It is my last true winter here in Colorado before we move next year to North Carolina. And I thought I better get on the fat bike train. So I've owned a fat bike for several years and I use it as a commuting device. If you didn't watch my video last year about my winter biking setup of carrying my kids to and from school, I'll link to that up here and in the show notes below. But the basics are fat bike, surly Wednesday, and a burly trailer with their really wide 16 plus tire and wheel kit. Great setup, but I really just use that for like a mile commute. And as this is my last winter in Colorado, I want to drink the fat biking Kool-Aid and truly go fat biking. So today I am switching out my stock tires, which are Surly Nate 26 by 3.8 to a 45 North Dillinger 4 tire with studs. The other thing I'm gonna be doing is adding fenders because we get a lot of freeze thaw slushiness. Switching on a handlebar to be a little bit more leaned over and aggressive. And here's the Metropolis FSA handlebar. I love this handlebar for everyday city biking, but it's a little bit too swept back for aggressive riding. I want to be able to bend my elbows and kind of get my wrist out of the way and over the handlebar, and this just doesn't allow it. So here's the Surly Bars comparison. Still swept back, but a little bit less bend, allowing me to put more weight on that front wheel and get down and low and aggressive if I need to. And then, not today because I don't have it in yet, I'm gonna be putting a dropper seat post on it. Hey, if you are a fat biker, I would love to hear from you. Give me a shout out below. I have questions and hopefully you have answers. All right, I'm gonna quickly install these tires, fenders, and switch out my handlebar, and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. And we're done. Let me show you what it looks like now that everything is on the bike. Here are the Dillinger 4, which are a 26 by 4.0 tire. Nice studs. These are directional, so right now we have the tread pointing forward on the front and on the back, it is reversed so that these grooves will give me like a paddle effect to help me get up or through slushiness. New Surly Bar, a little bit more aggressive and leaned over. New Ergon Grips, so I'm not slipping off. And then Fenders, this is a just a little guy on the front. This is the Mud Shovel from PDW, installed with this Velcro. Here's the rear fender. I had to accommodate for my rack, so I cut out a little triangle right there. And nice, easy fender installation, no tools required. And then here's the rear tire in that reverse setting. So a nice paddle here to push it forward. Replaceable studs, and we're gonna go try them out. That's my fat bike ready for the season here in Colorado. The last thing I wanna fix or update is putting a dropper seat post on it so I can get the right leg extension but still feel comfortable in the deep snow. I think I'm just gonna put a PDW coast or something that I already have in the shop on this. 
you have any recommendations, let me know below. And as I said in the beginning of this video, let me know if you're a fat biker. I would love to hear from you. I'm looking for specifically boot or shoe and glove advice. And if you're in the Denver area, let me know where your favorite fat biking routes or trails are. Well, friends, thank you for watching. And until next time, this was Arlie with Bike Shop Girl.